Hey everybody, welcome back to another LEGO Room Vlog. Jordan here. Today is a very exciting day. It's actually Saturday, which is awesome. We're going to be working on the residential area here in the LEGO City. Wait a minute, that area is already done. No, not quite, not quite. We have a few open base plates there that we need to fill up. And we're going to be talking about a building that we've been talking about for quite some time time today in this video. I don't know if that came out right, but we'll go run with it. And that is actually the Haunted Manor, a rebrickable model. So we're going to be continuing working on that today. It's right over here on the build table. Let's have a look at it for right now. Yeah, so we're going to continue working on this thing today, but this is what it looks like uh, after, I think, eight hours of live building. I will say that when we live build, we build a little bit slower. It's a little bit tougher, uh, that's for sure. But it looks great. We've got uh, some sand green windows there. We've got all the different uh, nougat elements there. We've got the nice fence going around the grounds here. A landing in the tan and this beautiful framed entrance right here, which looks fantastic. And then all of this different detail in the ground, such as the tombstones, the bumpkin, all sorts of little bushes and stuff like that. We've got these masonry pillars here with the uh, balls on the top got a couple fishes in there sand green hat and then all of these headstones here as well there is this right here which is like a gazebo almost and actually can open up i believe to reveal some of the stuff inside there's actually a coffin inside which is pretty cool of course you can see that from in here as well so there's the staircase that will lead up to the second floor hopefully we'll build some of the second floor in this video as well uh, swooping it around this way here. There's that coffin I'm talking about. It's got a raven on top of it. Some print pieces on a purple wall in there. We decided to add a hidden Mickey print piece there as well. There's a nice looking grandfather clock. Yeah, that's gold. It looks great. Little piano there. Little railing right here, mini wall. And then this area is sick. So this floor is really well done. Uh, the subfloor that we laid below it is actually composed of jumpers and also one by one studs. And then you're able to attach these tiles in a diamond form like that. So those dark tan tiles are in a diamond format, which is spectacular. That is amazing. Really well done. We've got the fireplace over there with the green flames coming out with a nice candle there. Also love the way those snow elements were used to create like blinds or cobwebbed blinds maybe. Over here we have a fantastic looking organ. Great looking organ there. It's got a bat. It's got all the gold pipes coming up from behind it using those gold cylinders. It's got a spider web clung to it. You're probably wondering what that there is with the 2x3 tile and also the 2x3 tile over there below or above that spider. That's actually gonna be a picture. So uh, we've gotta do some sticker detailing. We went the lazy route and didn't get the stickers printed on sticker paper, but rather put them on paper like this here. So we actually have to scotch tape those in place. But that's what it looks like for now. Let's continue this day vlog and then we'll get back to building this relatively soon. So something we did last night is we actually printed a list of all of our members that belong on that pillar down there. All the people in blue, you're going to see your name going onto that pillar in the very near future. Now all the people in yellow and all the other highlighters that ran out, uh, your names are already on there, so thank you. Oh yeah, and of course the pillar that I'm talking about is the Lego pillar right here. So this is where all the, the names are. So Jose's up there, she's making some breakfast right now. We're going to eat that breakfast, then we're going to consider doing a live stream. We'll continue building the Haunted Manor. And then we'll sort of go from there. Yeah, really excited to integrate that into the Lego city. And it's going to be going right there where that gray base plate is. It's pretty funny. We were just filming that review and I realized to myself, I didn't take the time to move the tablet or the pens or the, you know, remote or mouse. It was just, it was just in the way. No big deal. Like, come on, Jordan. Give your head a shake. But yeah, I mean, this is just like our habitat when we're... Building, there's there's weights there. You all know why there's weights there. But yeah, this is just our habitat when we're uh, building live here on the Brixie channel, right? Okay, okay, I cleaned up a bit. No worries. We're good. We're good. That, that That's much better. Okay, now we'll film the review. I'm just kidding. I can't wait. We'll continue building this soon. 
Yes. What are you making? Oatmeal. Oatmeal, homemade. I prefer Quaker. Is it? Oh, okay, it is Quaker. Confirmed. Are we making eggnog lattes this morning? Oh, yes. Hello. What do you know? More bricks arrived. Bricks are always arriving. And we're prepping for snowboard season. Got my helmet. And my GoPro. And my cat. Next, we got to ship some orders. Order number two. And order number three. And every one of them gets a pop socket. All right, so now we're gonna continue building this beauty. Pretty sweet, got our stream set up. Sweet. So I was uh, streaming today in my banana costume for Halloween. Actually, no, 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 it's not a banana costume. It's a Lego CMF costume, see? It's the banana guy. And then there's me, who looks just like the banana guy. But yeah, let's show you what we built over here. So this is what we accomplished during our live stream, and we're going to build a little bit more, but we built the awesome dining room table and the chairs there. You can see one of the chairs fell over. They're actually not put into position, but that's so you can easily access them and pull them out. Pretty cool mini builds. And the table. You can see there's a purple chair back there. And then there's four of those chairs that you see there, and then the one that I'm grabbing, there's two of jeepers. Take the head chair with the shield tile, looks really good. And then we added this over here as well, which is the portraits. Now, we didn't put the stickers on the black tile yet, but that's the portraits that you would find in the haunted mansion. So yeah, that's what to detail we added. And then also, we're starting to build the base for the second floor. Definitely not a traditional Lego standard build. You can see these actually aren't clipped into spot until we start tiling the floor so it holds those plates in spot. That's why we decided not to do it live for this next section because it's just so hard. We're running around looking for parts and... Kind of trying to keep an eye on chat and it just doesn't go as smoothly as uh, as other traditional, you know, Lego set builds or whatever. But yeah, we're going to continue working on this and hopefully get the, the base for our second floor made today for the uh, Haunted Manor. Will I continue to wear my banana suit while building? Yes, 100%. That's not a lie. One question we've been asked a lot while building this set here is where is it going to go? And we're going to place it in the city, but it's going to be rather challenging. You can see... We have four base plates that are two by two, and you can see how much space it takes up. So it's a little bit of a challenge to place this with regular modular buildings for that reason, especially when you have a city that's, you know, as full as ours already, it's a little bit of a challenge. I mean, if you were just going in and you had a bunch of open space, then of course you could do it. But Jose and I have come up with some solutions. There's uh, multiple different options, and of course we'll get around to showcasing those solutions once we get this thing built and we're looking to actually integrate it into the city and jose and i are going to continue building now the second floor it's in shambles <laughs> but yeah we just uh, got down the rabbit hole of uh, coming up with the home for this play thing here and uh, i think we've come up with something and there's a few different options now we're working on a new project jose has some tiles and stuff we're going to be working on a new membership perk and we're going to be building what we call a mega wall so right here we have all our acolytes i guess if that's what they're called and uh Brixieism of the day was acolyte it's accolade awesome <laughs> uh we got our you know youtube play button and stuff like that also this lightsaber and this is actually where we live stream right so this is sort of our background like that not as fish eye but that's where our background is. And we're going to be moving that lightsaber. And we're going to install a mega wall. That's going to go from the top all the way down to the bottom. And it's going to be a new membership perk for a new membership tier that we're going to have here on the uh, Brixie YouTube channel. So... We're pretty excited about it. Sort of spruce up this wall a bit and uh, make a mega wall. 
Whoa, eggnog latte. Mega wall. So there we go. You got the start of our wall and our awesome sign. Mega wall. I'm pumped on it. That looks so good. I love the red and the black. It really sort of pops off. So here I am building the way. Definitely a little bit easier building this thing with my back toward the parts. And yeah, it's, it's coming along nicely. The uh, second floor is challenging. A lot of these uh, plates here don't get locked in until you lay these tiles. You can see how flimsy it is sort of. So you got to like sort of have them just hovering around and, and knowing where they're going to go. And then as you move forward in the future, well, the future pages of the instructions, then you know that those plates eventually get locked in with tiles and stuff like that. So yeah, it's coming along good though. And I'd imagine it's going to look really good. Check it out. Hidden Mickey. So that's always fun. So for example, these purple tiles right here, the rounded ones, I've got those not actually placed on my model. Because if I were to place them on my model, they would actually be floating. So I knew not to put those on there because I knew eventually you would be placing something underneath it, such as this 2x4 tile that I'm about to place. So for that reason, I didn't place it because then you just have to remove it. So there's a lot of that going on in the instructions, but as long as you're just patient and, you know, sort of have a good sense of what it's going to look like in the end, then you know just to proceed and not let that stuff bother you because you know eventually it's going to all be put together properly. Things happen in sort of a weird order. You can see we put the one by one there and then the red tile and then the one by three red tile. And then we're over here, we're putting a two by two down. And then we're jumping over here and putting that clip down and then that tile. And then a while later, you get back to finishing this. Whereas like, I think Lego instructions would have you build this entire thing in a series of steps. Because I mean, we, we started laying the, the framework for this a long time ago, right? So now we're back here doing some stuff there. And now look, we're back over here before finishing this over here. So it's like hopping back and forth rather than just finishing this that I started building that like, like way, 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 way back. See, we're building it way back here. So like Lego instructions would have you build this whole thing that's going on here and then move over here and start doing that, right? But it's, uh, I mean, no discredit to the model. It's great, but I just think that you're sort of hopping all over the place, which can be, it's not really that confusing, but like when you're sorting through, you know, 4,000 pieces and you're hopping all over the place and then <laughs> it could be sort of strange and then you got some stuff that's not clipped into place and it relies on future steps to ensure that it's stable. But that's just me. That's just my thoughts and my feedback toward the instructions. But I think the model is, is fantastic and looks great. The instructions could use some, some refining in that regard, I think. Just my honest opinion. But uh, yeah, other than that, uh, I think everything everything is good and sort of coming along smoothly, but that's sort of one of the reasons why I've decided to build this privately rather than building it live on the stream, just because sometimes I struggle to find the parts and sometimes uh, you can just be a little bit confused by the instructions. I mean, these these ones here are pretty straightforward. That's why the uh, designer marked it as Master Builder, right? So this is instruction manual number four of six, and you can see it's 224 pages long, but the steps themselves are quite small. So it's pretty straightforward. But yeah, it is marked as a master builder difficulty. So there you go. Okay, so here's a prime example. We built the whole floor around the first page of this instruction manual, the first few pages, right? And we're on page uh, 187 of 224. And now finally, there's a one by eight plate right here that we are finally going to clip in spot using this slope right here and it's gonna clip in spot there. So finally now our floor will be one solid unit, 187 pages later, <laughs> but still not really a solid unit. Unless of course I've made a mistake. Maybe I did, I don't know, possibly. I don't think so though, I, I 
double checked and picked all my parts. So, but so it's a, uh, it's gonna get all fixed here right away, and it's gonna look glorious. That's for sure. Oh my gosh! I just drilled holes in Lego. Test subject took a beating. Official Lego plate, not so much. Oh, I'm so sorry, lightsaber. You are gone. We'll have to find you a new home. Because now, we have the Mega Wall. And I've got some plans for up top here too. We couldn't fit an additional base plate, but that's where our Brixie letters are gonna go. You know those light letters? Yeah. That's gonna be the perfect home for them. Right up there, it's gonna say B-R-I-C-K-S-I-E. I think that's how you spell it. The Mega Wall. Now it's time to watch some hockey. Is that comfy, Daly? It looks comfy. And while we watch the hockey game, we're going to print all the labels that need updating on that pillar there. Arts and crafts time. So overall, it's been a fantastic day. We just entered the second intermission of the uh, Oilers game there, and we're winning. It's good. You can't give the Oilers power plays. Remember that, folks, because they will score. And that's a guarantee. But yeah, we are printing the labels up there about two-thirds of the way through. So it's good to multitask while uh, watching hockey, of course. And we've got the uh, the new wall set up, so make sure you stay tuned for what we're doing with the mega wall there. That should be good. And this is what we've got done so far with uh, the Haunted Manor. So you saw what was going on there with the first floor. Don't mind my mess. It's just, it's just the nature. It's just the natural habitat, right? It's just bound to happen. But yeah, this is what we've got going on for the second floor here. Lots of cool stuff going on. It is questionable in some regards, as you as you saw earlier, right? Like it's a little bit questionable, but it's gonna look really good. Uh, you know, we're gonna have to use some of the skills that we have as Lego builders as mock builders, as experienced Lego set builders to try and make this work as best we can and just sort of maybe re-render this floor a little bit here with different plate sizes so that, you know, stuff like this doesn't happen. So let's have to re-render some of the plate and some of the tile work and stuff like that just to sort of make it work. But like I always tell Jose, you know, rebrickable models are mocks and there's no reason that you can't you know, venture out beyond the instruction recommendations to put your own spin on it and improve it and sort of go from there. Because this is somebody's creation, right? A magnificent creation, to say the least. And it's always fun to put your own spin on it and try and improve it from what it already is. So yeah, there we go, everybody. So uh, yeah, like I was saying earlier, actually, uh, we do have some plans on placing that. And I know in the beginning of this video, I said that we were gonna place it in the residential area over here. But actually, it doesn't seem like it's gonna work there. We're gonna to have to move it from there. So we look forward to testing it in different areas here in the downtown core, closer to the amusement park and with all the modular buildings and stuff like that. And there'll be a lot of trial and error with that. Jose and I already discovered that. And as I showed you with the four base plate layout earlier, and we look forward to placing it here in the Lego City. So I hope you like this little day vlog here for our busy little Saturday here in the end of October. Tomorrow's Halloween. Well, you're watching this today, so it is Halloween. Happy Halloween, everybody, I guess. Everybody remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned. And thank you so much for coming on by today, and have yourselves a fantastic one. Bye-bye.